he, he loves his modelling, uh, thoroughly enjoys uh, taking part. Um, and so uh, the, the days, the modelling days, how do they work? Obviously, you will probably go along as chaperones. Um, how, how would you work those days? How much do you see? Liam is uh, part of a modelling agency in Sweden. So H&M is a client to uh, the modelling agency. And the modelling agency is responsible for Liam's uh, photo shoots. And uh, we are always there, either Frank or I, for the photo shoots. And uh, it's no different from that day, whether we remember it or not. But it was no different photo shoot from any other day. So on that day, so this is the H&M &M, uh, shoot in question. Um, did you see him put the ho hoodie on? Was it discussed in any way? Um, as I would say, not. Uh, um, we, I've taken him for a couple of appointments uh, when the mother cannot do it. Uh, um, but uh, if I, if I would say, some of what I, I do with him at the studio, I, y you can never remember when you're not trying to spot something. Uh, um, I get to see and say, oh wow, when I get to see them back, uh, when they come on the internet pages and I say, when did we do this, Liam? I, I remember there is uh, professional people who are uh, responsible for his styling and his photo shoot. So as a mom, you're just there because he's a, uh, as a mom or a dad, you're just there because he's a minor and you have to uh, take them take them through the, the process because mm -hmm. they cannot take themselves there or they cannot be there by themselves. So there is a, uh, professional people who are styling Liam and uh, until the controversy came out, we did not know that there was such a t-shirt. Nobody, one, either of us can remember who was at the photo shoot uh, at a particular day until the thing came out. Yeah. That's when we realized, oh, we have an issue at hand. So uh, had you been uh, in eyesight, uh, because we know how these uh, photo shoots work, they change the top, take the shot, change it again, change it again, loads of different uh, shots uh, all in one day. If you'd seen that hoodie with that slogan, would, would it have rung alarm bells? Not for me. I, I, I wouldn't see such a connection to anything other than my son modeling uh, a shirt. And until the, the controversy now uh, with the whole uh, furora that is going on, uh, then you kind of look back and wonder if you had noticed it, what would be our initial or my initial uh, response to it. Do you because... think it was um, an overreaction, the, the, uh, the response that that picture got? It is not an overreaction when it comes to racism. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody should act differently based on their own opinions on what racism is. I know what racism is. Uh, I've been uh, at the front uh, I have had uh, racist remarks directed to me firsthand. Uh, even with the name monkey, I've been called a monkey before on a cruise ship, and uh, my reaction was the same as the world is reacting to me right now. But uh, to put the T-shirt the and the word monkey with racism, maybe that is not my, my way of looking at it. I'm just looking at Liam uh, Black young boy modeling a t-shirt that has uh, the, the word monkey on it. And I think uh, everybody should respect different opinions based on racism. And it, I mean, this has really affected the family because you've had to move out of the family home. Um, the comments you've had, I mean, it has gone global. So you are really feeling this as a family right now? Yes. Yeah, it is. Um, it's. Um... Uh, I can't say we are, we are, we are having um, our normal family life as we've always wanted it to be. And um, despite uh, as much as people have gotten involved in this, um, it's important. And for me, it's very important that um, people should understand that me and Teresa, we, are, we have a son. We have other children in the home that we are raising. And... Uh, we have an obligation to mm. kind of protect our children. I, is he aware of, of what's happening? Not really, he's not. Not in the bigger picture. Not he, in the he's bigger aware picture. he's a superstar and that people love him. And he's seen the pictures, he's seen images online. He thinks 
oh, he believes that people love him for his modeling job and uh, that he's cool and his confidence in his job. So well, I know that um, uh, that is basically. He's, uh, he's there, actually. We'll, let, we'll get him into the room now. And we haven't put an earpiece on him this morning, so he's, he's unaware of, uh, of, of, of this line of questioning. But let's, uh, let's get him in yeah. and, uh, and talk positively yeah. uh, to him. I so he because, because he doesn't have an earpiece, we, if you relay the questions uh, to him, um, and we'll get him, uh, get him into, yeah. the, uh, into, the, into the studio. Could you ask him when, uh, when he comes and... Uh, oh, there he is. Uh, <laughs> when, uh, when, he, uh, when he comes and sits down uh, ab about his modelling, how much does he, does he love it? What does he like about it? What do you like about modelling? Can you say to the camera what you like about modelling, doing the photo shoots? I do. What do you like about it? <laughs> the pictures that you take and everything. How much do you like it? Hmm. He's very oh, shy. Nice. He's gone so shy. Oh, because so you're nice. what? Hmm. Because I'm nice and a model. You're nice and you're a model. Oh. Oh. Well, he is absolutely gorgeous. Like he really is. It's well, he's like a little star, that's for sure. Yeah, looks, tell him from us that we think his, um, his, <laughs> his shoots are fantastic. He looks great.